one of your uh, colleagues uh, from Ohio, um, Mike Connell, has been instrumental in helping to set up a lot of these tabulator situations. Uh, can you just talk about Mike Connell and the role that he plays in this? And if he were to be ever questioned by anybody, what role would he have as a witness? I, I don't. I can't answer that question. I, I know Mike, and, and I like Mike. Mike and I share a lot of values. Um, I have spent uh, a great deal of time and energy and effort uh, working on democracy and free speech advocacy around the world. Mike has spent a great deal of time on religious freedom and free speech around the world, and those areas intersect. And Mike and I have attended conferences together and supported each other in projects focused on that. Now, Mike is also a devout Catholic. I, I am, I am uh, a, 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 a spiritual believer in, 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 a, in a very uh, uh, open sense, but I'm not of a particular denomination in the way he is. And Mike is also much more of a partisan than I am. And while we intersect on those things and have worked on those things, Mike has been involved certainly in building the front ends, the website and application ends of many of the same people that I would have concerns and would like to talk to. I know that uh, Mike Connell uh, set up and created the Election Day website for Ken Blackwell in yep. 2004, and there's been a lot of questions about the tabulator results going to a uh, GOP server in Chattanooga, Tennessee, run by a company called Smart Tech. Could you talk about that a little bit? Well, as it's been reported to me, um, what was supposed to happen was, Yes, Mike was involved in building Ken Blackwell's front end, the web access, the way people would actually access the site. What was supposed to happen is each of the counties would tabulate their vote, those tabulators reporting to the Secretary of State's office to the master tabulator. The master tabulator would then report information to the system Mike designed. So you, it's all gotten there, there. And then if the buffer, meaning so many people want to see the results at once that it overloaded or nationally, there was an overflow site, which was supposed to be outsourced to this company, Vine Smart Tech, that was supposed to look at it. That's the way it was initially described as happening. Fine. But what appears electronically, and what now increasingly, although apparently nobody can find the records of the contracts, what actually happened is the tabulators sent their results to Smart Tech in Chattanooga, who then sent the information on to the Secretary of State, who then put it into my system. Well, back to my conversation about these two computers talking to each other and people can do things with the data in between, if the tabulators with anonymously compiled results are sending their results to Smart Tech, and Smart Tech can change the results and then send them on to the Secretary of State, and ta-da, you have the Connolly anomaly. It explains how it happened. 